Okay, hello everyone again. I uh, hope you're all doing good. Uh, it's cold here in Ireland today. It's about, uh, with the sunshine, about 6 degrees uh, centigrade, and there's snow forecast. Uh, so when the sun comes out, it's not so bad, but uh, it keeps disappearing behind clouds. Um, so anyway, it's cold. Time for um, a bit of heat, and I'm going to show you how to make a uh, waste oil burner, a prototype waste oil burner, with a, a sweet tin, a biscuit tin, that sort of thing here and a dog food tin here. So, um, this is how it works out. This is for prototyping purposes, okay? So, I mean, you might get an hour or two out of this, but um, you can check it out, make it very quickly, and see how easy it is to make a waste oil burner. So, this could be any shape. This is just one that's here. Uh, standard sweet tin, biscuit tin, whatever. This is a dog food can. Um, you can see the relationship in size. This one is 100 millimeters in diameter, and uh, I want about 10 holes around it. Uh, you can go mental, you know, being super accurate, or you can just um, uh, just mark them off. Describe it. Center it by eye. I can mark around it with a chisel. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but what I'm looking for is I want to punch, yeah, you can see it, I want to punch this out with the chisel, I'm just going to, you know, drive it through until I have a circle out of it. And then what you want is as nice a tight fit as you can get, you know, because you're going to drip oil into this space here, and the, uh, the, the tin can is going to act like a chimney and bring in fresh air for the, for the combustion for the mix. So that's it, um, and I'll speed this bit up. Okay, so this is what I've done. I punched a hole in through the tin. We don't need this piece. And um, essentially what's gonna happen now is the tin can is gonna push through this. Okay, so I'll do that in a minute. What I need to do now is I need to drill these holes. So we'll drill these holes now. Okay, so the plan is to drill 20 holes in this tin can. Um, this can is 100 millimeters in diameter this way. And uh, using pi, I know that um, I need to drill these about 31 millimeters apart. Okay, so this is a heavily modified stove. This stove has been in many a YouTube video, <laughs> many a YouTube video of mine, I should say. Okay, so, um, but this time around it's getting a different burner. This pipe is the oil feed in. Uh, in different uses, it's also the air feed in, but in this case, I'm only using it for oil. So there's a half inch pipe, half inch copper pipe in the middle of this, and it's gonna drip waste oil into here for us. So to get this in, tip it, it in, make sure my holes are where I want them to be. And the air, and I'm just gonna push the sand around this now, so that the, the only air that comes in comes in through my um my tin can. Alright? And that's it. And we'll see that working now. Okay, no mystery. These are just wood shavings, okay? I'll show you what I'm at now. I'm gonna drop them in. This is just to get this going. And you could actually just experiment with this with no, um, with nothing else. This is kerosene. Okay, so, now, the reason for the air intake being on the bottom is that when I close this door, the only air that can come in is forced in through these holes that I drilled. So let's check that out. Have a listen, this should change noise now. Okay, hear that? There you go. We're burning kerosene now, not waste oil yet. So I'm just about to put the waste oil on. Okay, there we go with the waste oil. Okay, I've moved this so you, you can see the, the, uh, the flow in the oil. Let's try this again. Now, 
I just saw some big lumps going down. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so you can see the steady stream of oil there. Bit big at the minute. Okay. Very, uh, very finicky. But look, there's a biscuit tin and a waste oil burner made in a few minutes. You know, and if you wanted to change something, another biscuit tin, another 10 minutes or whatever. And it's burning away, it's burning okay, away. Okay, so I'm going to show you inside the, the, the burn chamber. There we go, we've got oil coming in into the back. And uh, we've got the biscuit tin, nice and hot. Have a listen. Okay, so. That's it, that's how it works. When I close the door, you get negative pressure in the chamber, which pulls air in and, uh, for combustion. I know the glass is getting black. Um, it's a prototype, and if I had more metal in there, you know, to, um, to get hot, it would be um, born a bit better as well. So, okay, YouTube and everybody, thanks very much for watching. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. It keeps this whole thing on the go. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks very much.